How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Good, man. I'm good. You, you seem to be sideways. I don't know if that's on me or you. There you go. How's that? <laughs> that's yeah. perfect, man. Perfect. Awesome. Awesome. I was going to say, uh, where's Mark Tremonti located? Are you in Vegas? I'm in Orlando. Oh, okay. Nice. No, I, nice. Did, I, I did the photo shoot for the Sinatra thing out in Vegas, so I picked up some T-shirts. Nice, nice, man. Uh, so I have I have mentioned this to uh, your bandmate, Miles Kennedy, and then I've mentioned it to his bandmate, Slash, and I've, I've mentioned it to a few other artists. You would qualify as one of the hardest working men in music, man. You have so much going on. How do you keep it all, uh, how do you keep it all together? Oh, man, just um, wake up and just schedule the day accordingly, you know, wait, <laughs> wait for the baby to go to sleep and get to work. Awesome, man. So uh, you have this you have this new project and and I could start explaining it, but I probably won't do it justice. So I'm going to give you the floor um, and then we can expand on it after you explain to everybody uh, this this project that I know it's close to your heart. I'm just going to turn it over to you uh, in such a great cause. And, and the floor is yours, Mark. Thank you very much. Yeah. You know, about three years ago, I became obsessed with singing like Frank Sinatra and um you know, a couple of years into it, I didn't know what I was going to do with it. And then uh, me and my wife got the diagnosis that our daughter Stella had uh, was has Down syndrome. Here she is. Um, but um, after that, you know, I was like, this is the reason for this obsession. I'm going to record a record uh, singing Sinatra tunes uh, to raise money and awareness for Down syndrome. So I told my manager this and he told me that his guitar teacher growing up was Frank Sinatra's touring guitar player. So he introduced us to Sinatra's band leader and, um, you know, it was a long process to get the family's approval and get all the band guys together and, and set it all up. But, uh, we, we finally got to the end. Awesome. So they sent me some links to some of the, uh, YouTube videos and I was, I, I flipped it on and then I walked away from the computer screen and starts playing. And I'm like, did I click on a Frank Sinatra video? I, I couldn't believe the voice that was coming out of you. I, and I just watched it and I watched a couple of them, man. How did you discover you could sing like that? I think it was probably a bunch of Christmas parties, you know, singing, <laughs> singing Christmas songs. And it just suits my voice more than the rock and roll thing does, to be honest with you. It's just my range is um, more suited for this style of music than stretching so much to do the rock stuff. So it's, mm -hmm. um, I, I love it. It's just, it's comfortable to sing. Yeah. yeah. Were you, um, before you found out you could sing like that, uh, a Sinatra fan? Were you introduced to Sinatra uh, at an early age or something? Yeah. I mean, growing up, there's no way you could get away from it. You know, it's just part of your life. It was, it was in movies. It was on radio. It was, it was everywhere. So I, I always dug it. But then, like I said, about three years ago, I became obsessed. And I, I watched all the movies, read all the books um went way down the rabbit hole on all the songs he's recorded over 1400 tunes mm -hmm. so um just that, like a guitar player if i heard something i wanted to learn i would try to replicate it and try to learn it i, I kind of applied the same thing to trying to sing like sinatra okay okay you do a fantastic job i wanted to pass along i take a chance for charity.org to get more information about all of this uh the the album uh Trevani sings uh, sinatra coming out may 27th as well um, when you're recording, say, Tremonti songs, or even if you're in the studio, say, with Alter Bridge, does, does any of the Sinatra influence or the way of singing sneak in there sometimes? Yeah, you know, on this last solo record I did, um, I approached my vocals the same way as I did the Sinatra record. Um, usually I'll just write lyrics and write a melody and just go in there and sing it off the cuff. But now I try to be more deliberate and, um, and know exactly where I'm going to breathe and where, how, how I'm going to pronounce a word and where I'm going to throw vibratos and uh, it helped me it helped me look at the voice more of more of um in an analytical way than, than I ever have nice. so uh speaking of Tremonti the last time you were here in Atlantic City obviously it was not uh it was just a tragedy with with Daltrey and what he went to with his family mm -hmm. but I walked in while you were performing and you were kind of stripped down with your show and I, but I never got the full story for that I know a member of Seven Dust came out and did some songs with you. But what happened at that show? Um, our drummer, Ryan, caught COVID. Uh, uh, so, you know, the rules are so strict out there. If somebody gets COVID, ship them right off. And, and um, you know, Chris had said, you know, we, we'd love for you guys to still perform. So we still have the full bill. So we had about uh, two hours for me and Eric to get some acoustic guitars. We didn't even have an acoustic guitar on the road. Wow. So we had to borrow 
I think okay. we borrowed one from the Daughtry camp and borrowed one from my guitar tech. And um, we put together as many songs. I think we still did a 40 minute set of acoustic jams, mm -hmm. but uh, Morgan from seven dust came up and played, played a song with us that night too. That's awesome, man. Uh, it was a good job. I was there and uh, seven dust, uh, they, they performed very well as well. Uh, so Tremonti, uh, obviously you were on the road with that. Uh, what's going on with that project right now? Uh, we just got off tour. We did about five weeks in the States and now we're uh, headed to Europe on the 20 same day the record comes out. I'm going to be on in a plane headed to Europe for this next tour. Nice. And then did I see something about Alter Bridge going to be recording some new music? We're in the studio right now. As soon as, oh, okay. as, soon as I get off this interview, I'm, uh, I'm going to pack up some amps and, and uh, take them to the studio. So it's today's I amp shootout day. I guess you got to take advantage. Is Miles there because you got his schedule and your schedule and I, I, I say to him all the time, I'm like, you should pay your manager uh, overtime trying to keep all these schedules together. Oh, yeah, man. It's uh, Miles just flew in. We had a photo shoot yesterday for the record. Um, we uh, drums are done. Bass is done. Me and Miles. Miles is in there now setting up his guitars. I'm going to um, head on there and set up mine as well. We'll start tomorrow. Nice, nice. And uh, obviously where we first uh, came to know Mark Germani was Creed. I talked to Scott uh, right before the pandemic, um, and he says, you guys still stay in contact. Is there any rumblings of, of a Creed reunion or doing anything? Uh, it's just a matter of timing. You know, every time uh, promoters ask us to do a, some shows, it's it's a new record's coming out for Alter Bridge or, or Scott's coming out with one of his records. So it's, it's just got to work out. I, I think... Um, you know, we're not in any rush. You know, I think distance makes the heart grow fonder when it comes to the Creed stuff. So if uh, if we come back this summer versus next year, I think it will still be people will still want to come out and see it. Awesome. Awesome, man. I, I mean, like I said, you're never not working. You're never yeah. not working. Yeah. So, um, uh, if I remember correctly, uh, when you first started Tremonti, Wolfgang was in the band, correct? He came in on the second and third record. Second, third right. record. Uh, what are your thoughts on his record? Have you listened to it? Oh, it's, it's awesome. I'm, I'm super happy for him. He's, uh, you know, I'm so proud of what he's done and I'm so happy with the world's recognition of his talents, you know, cause it's, you know, when you meet Wolf, Wolfgang Van Halen, you'll probably think, ah, oh, he's the son of the, the hugest star in the world. He's going to be stuck up or, you know, you know, whatever. He's the most down earth, cool guy in the world. So he's, I'm so happy. And he's so talented, you know, he's, um, you know, he wasn't playing in Van Halen just because he was the son of Eddie Van Halen. He's playing because he was top notch. He's, he's an incredible bass player, great singer, great drummer. And now the world sees a great songwriter. So, um, yeah, he's, he's doing uh, I, great. I got to Zoom with him a couple of times right when he put Distance out, right before the new record. Um, I, I couldn't believe when I saw him live. I saw him live like last month uh, and I saw him open up for GNR uh, uh, last year. I mean, he is talented. Like, I mean. You know, he, he's his own man and he, he writes and he, he's a tremendous on guitar as well. He, he totally impressed me, not only as a musician, but also a young man when I got to chat with him too. Very, just, just bright. And like you said, down to earth. Oh, absolutely. Good. He's so. a good man. I miss him. I miss him. It was good times when we were in the band together, but yeah, you know, he's got to, he's got to do his own thing and I'm glad he is, you know? Oh, you know, maybe we can get like maybe an Alter Bridge or Tremonti and Wolfgang Van Allen Mammoth WVH tour or something. Yeah, I think uh, I think there's talks to that with uh, with Alter Bridge at some point. Nice. So, yeah, That's great, man. Um, again, I want to mention this again. Uh, the album is Tremonti Sing Sinatra comes out May 27th. Everybody go to YouTube. There's a, there's a video or two up there. You will be blown away that that voice is coming out of Mark Tremonti, especially because of what we know of you throughout your career. And uh, again, take a chance for charity dot org. Uh, you can find out more information there as well. Um, would you ever take this out on the road? Yes. You know, we, we have uh, two shows booked for, or a show booked next month. So uh, May 14th, we'll, we'll be playing here in Orlando and uh, the show sold out in like a day. So it was, it's exciting, you know, and, and now we're going to try to do some more shows, maybe, maybe later this summer and then maybe later this winter over in Europe. So we'll see. So, so you just recorded, but going out on stage and doing this, Obviously, with Alter Bridge, you got the guitar. Creed, you know, you did some lead vocals and some vocals like that. Is it going to be nerve wracking to go out there and do this? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's. I tell people, I'm not. I'm not nervous about singing. You know, I, I love singing Sinatra. It's. I can't wait to do it. It's. Uh, 
each one of these songs has like a 30 second break musical break in the middle of it where i'm just kind of standing there <laughs> you know this is where you usually solo, solo. <laughs> you know frank sinatra had a good way of blowing the dice or mm -hmm. you know entertaining i'm not you know i'm not trying to be frank sinatra's persona up there i'm just trying to be myself singing his song so i got to figure out what that is you know it's it's uh we'll see what happens it reminds me of when i was chatting with miles a, a few years ago when he was talking about his solo acoustic tours he goes i feel naked out here with just a guitar and myself he goes oh, yeah. it took a while to kind of get used to it um because you know usually i got the band around me and you know somebody uh -huh. soloing over here whether it's you or slash or something he said it took some time so i got to imagine it's going to be a little bit of adjustment well oh i'll have the, i'll be wearing the suit and i'll be uh you know i i gotta i gotta stay classy so i don't even know if i'll be drinking beer on stage like that <laughs> have a little have cocktail a, have, a, have a little cocktail or something drink some oh. jack daniels like old frank did there you go i'll be thinking about you on may 14th that happens to be my birthday so i'll be thinking about nice. you singing sinatra tune down in uh down in florida man. absolutely man well happy early birthday Awesome. Well, thank you. Well, Mark, I thank you again. We're going to get all this information out. I know all the proceeds are going uh, to the charity. It's a great cause. All the best to you, your family. We look forward to all the music that you provide uh, to us over the years and, and much more to come. And so uh, take awesome. care and, uh, and just uh, thanks for taking some time and spreading the word with us. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Awesome. Take care, man. You Bye. too.